Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you an Arthur Man boxing video by me for you. Today, let me introduce you this year. This year is the brand new Apple iPhone 16. The first iPhone built for Apple intelligence, personal, private and powerful. And with camera control, we get the perfect photo while barely lifting a finger. And the all new ship that empowers the Apple intelligence and us. A big boost in battery life, yes of course. New ultra wide camera, we take our photos further and closer. Let's start with Apple intelligence and AI opening possibilities. The, I, I, um, the iPhone 16 is built for Apple Intelligence, the personal intelligence system that helps us write, express ourselves and get things done effortlessly. With groundbreaking privacy protections, it gives us a peace of mind that no one else can access our data, not even Apple. We explore the new tools that help us write, focus and communicate. For example, the new writing tools that can proofread our text and rewritten different versions of it. We just hit the record in the notes or the phone app to capture audio recordings and transcripts. Apple Intelligence generates summaries of our transcripts, for example, or prior priority messages in mail. We create fun original images that are truly personalized to us. Um, the image playground apps with a clean app we can remove um, distracting backgrounds objects and so on uh, with an all new superpower Siri will be able to assist us like never before with the intelligence system and richer language understanding not sure how to do something on iPhone like schedule a text message to send with the expansive product knowledge of Siri can give us step-by-step -step instruction in a snap and of course, great powers comes with great privacy. Apple Intelligence is designed to protect our privacy at every step. And we take total camera control. Touch, zoom, click, quick. Now we can take the perfect photo or video in record time. Camera control gives us an easy way to quickly access the camera tools. Simply slide your fingers to adjust the camera functions like exposure or depth of field. And toggle through each lens or use digital zoom to frame our shot just how we like it we click to launch the camera app we click again instantly take a photo with the new button in video mode we can start recording of course a light press opens control like zoom with a double click uh, a press light press no light press okay we can select another camera settings then we slide to adjust the settings and this is possible uh, with a new camera system. We go to create the, the great lengths to get the perfect shot. The versatile new iPhone 16 camera system captures beautiful photos from up close or from far away. The two in a 148 megapixel fusion camera lets us take stunning super high resolution images. Oh, or we can zoom in with two times optical quality telephoto. The ultra wide camera shots extreme close up macro photos or wider, more expensive pictures all to get it's like having our four lenses in our pocket and with special capture we can even take photos and videos in 3d which we can watch with apple vision pro ultra wide camera focus on the light little things and the bigger picture the new ultra wide camera with autofocus takes incredible sharp details macro photos and videos we can also frame more expensive scenes without taking a step back and because it has a large aperture and the bigger pixels it can capture up to 2.6 times more light for high image quality even in low lights Special Capture brings a whole new dimension to our photos and videos. With its realigned cameras, the iPhone 16 lets us take magical photos and videos in a whole new way using Special Capture, so we can relieve those moments in immersive 3D with Apple Vision. And a big thing is Audio Mix. This makes our voice heard. 
powered by advanced intelligence and a special audio capture, the audio mix lets us adjust the way voices sound in our videos using three different voice options. We want to decrease the background sound or we just focus on the voice that are in frame? Simply select the mix and adjust intensity to get the sound we want after video capture. In frame for example only captures the voice of the people on the camera even if people off camera are talking during the recording. Studio option. This making voices sounds like we are recording in a professional studio equipped with sound dampening walls. Great for vloggers or podcasters because the recording will sound like the mic is close to the subject's mouth, even if it's a few feet away. And cinematics captures all of the voices around us and consolidates them toward the front of the screen, just like sounds is formatted for the movie. And we choose our photographic style, we change it up, we change it back. Because the latest generation of photographic styles gives us a greater creative flexibility than ever before. So we can make every photo even more for us. And we can add, change or remove a style anytime we want. And we lock in our look. They have created the new styles that let us dial in our exact desired look with more advanced skin tone rendering and set it across our photos. And thanks to the powerful A18 chip, we can see the change in the live previous before we apply it. And we align it with our aesthetics. We make the most of our megapixels. We can personalize every pixel nearly. And this is possible because of the A18 chip. That's IQ high. We meet the A18 custom build for Apple intelligence and so much more. It jumps two generations ahead of the A16 Bionic chip in iPhone 15. And it powers the next level camera features like photographic styles and camera control, all with exceptional power efficiency to extend the battery life up to 60 percent faster 6 core cpu up to two times faster 5 core gpu and even longer battery life we will need to recharge before it will the iphone 16 has been designed to make room for a larger battery which works together with the a18 to deliver a big boost in battery life even with so many new features so we can game bang and rock and and more Snap on a new MagSafe charger for even faster wireless charging, up to 25 watt with a 30 watt powered adapter or higher. This enables up to 50% charge in around 30 minutes. Up to 27 hours video playback on iPhone 16 Plus. Up to 22 hours on video playback on the iPhone 16. Up to 5 more hours. Or up to 10 more hours with the Plus model. And durable design. Who says beauty isn't meant to last? The iPhone 16 has a sturdy aerospace grade aluminum enclosure and strong and beautiful color infused glass on the back. The latest generation ceramic shield material is two time toucher than any smartphone glass. And a new internal design dissipates heat more eff uh, effectively. So we will get better performance overall, especially when it comes to gaming, baby. That means the latest generation of Caring Shield, two times touchier than any smartphone glass. That's nice. And engineered from beautiful aerospace grade aluminium, splash water and rust, dust resistant. Oh. Strange meets style, baby. The iPhone 16 comes in five vibrant colors from black up to ultramarine. And we have the action button. We do more, we wait less. The action button on the iPhone 16 is fast. Track our favorite features. We just press and hold to launch the action we want. The flashlight, a voice memo, silent mode and more. We can also set up the shortcuts to open an app. Run a series of tasks or change actions depending on the time of day or our location. 
or we use it to take actions in an app, the settings an alarm, or even ordering our favorite coffee drink. And of course, it's possible with iOS 18. We customize, we style, and we mesmerize. We can personalize our home screen better. And if we have no signal, there's a satellite for that, of course. When we don't have cell phone service or Wi-Fi, the iPhone 16 can connect to a satellite so we can stay in touch or get the assistance we need. And messages we, messages via satellite are possible. We let us send and receive messages and tap backs when we are off the grid, right from the message app. Our phone will help us connect to a satellite so we can text over the iMessage or SMS. And roadside assistance via satellite. We can get our help for things like a flat tire or a dead car battery. The phone will connect to a roadside assistance provider. So we can dispatch help to our exact location even if we are off the grid. And the iPhone also has a vital safety feature that can help save lives. If we try to call 911 for urgent help, we don't have to sell service or Wi-Fi. We can use the iPhone to text emergency services over satellite. And we have crash detection. It uses the hardware sensor and advanced motion algorithm to detect a several car crash. Then call 911 and notify our emergency contact when we can't do that. Even we don't have a service. When we are within a range and make a 911 emergency call, the iPhone gear 16 gives us the option to start sharing our live feed with 911 response for quick and effective assistance. This is designed to make a difference. This is the iPhone 16. Four. A clear setup process, we push the power button on the right side, upper side of our device and start that. After this, we will be have seen that, hello and so on. Now we can swipe upward to come into the process of setup. Now we choose our language we prefer. This is English. Now we select our country or region. In my case, it's Germany. Of course, your uh, um, country or your region is shown um, in that list. Now we can set up the appearance. We choose how we would like to text and icons to look on our iPhone. We can choose large, medium or default. Continue. Now we can perform a quick start. We bring our current iPhone or iPad near me. If you does not have any Apple iPhone or iPad, then skip and set up without any device. This is the standard wave. It's your first kind of iPhone. Now written and spoken language. We can customize this if we like. English, German, emoji and so on. Dictation, English and German, for example. Now we have to choose a Wi-Fi network because this phone has to say hello to Apple. And this is only possible with the internet. So we have to enter to the Wi-Fi network and this is only possible with a password. This password you can ask at your admin or you look um, underneath your router, of course. Or you know your password, of course. Then we can go to join. If we join the Wi-Fi network, it may take a few minutes to activate our phone. Because now the iPhone 16 is getting messages. Data privacy information. This icon appears when an Apple feature asks to use our personal information. We can learn more if we like. Now we set up our iPhone. We can set up this iPhone for ourselves or for a child in our family. Child accounts can be created by parents or legal guardians for children aged 15 years and younger. We set up for ourselves. The next step is we have to get the Face ID. 
The Face ID is the best thing and the secured thing here. The iPhone can recognize the unique three-dimensional feature of our face to unlock automatically. Use Apple Pay, make purchases or subscribe to services from Apple, for example. So get caught, continue with that. Now, we first position our face in the camera frame, then we move our head in the circle to show all the angles of our face. Let's perform this. Here's my, my face, and now I have to rotate. Good job. Boom, yeah. First scan completed. Now, are we using face ID with a mask? Yes or no? Let's go to yes. Position our face again. Let's perform the same like before. Oh, here we are. And now the second thing is done. Now the system sees that I'm wearing glasses. Okay, let's continue. The third one is now. Good job. Really good job. That it is. Easy peasy. Face ID is now set up. We can continue. Well, now we have created an iPhone passcode. The passcode is to um, unlock while you reboot your, your device, for example. Face ID provides convenient and secure access by recognizing our face. Occasionally, um, the passcode will be required for validation. So, use not this passcode, of course. This is only for demonstration. Now we created this passcode and we can continue. We can transfer our apps and data. We get our existing apps and information like photos, notes, and reminders onto our new device from the iCloud backup, from another iPhone, from the Mac or a personal computer, or once from your Android. Okay? If you have that, use that because it's cool. Now we have to create an Apple account. We sign in or we create with an email or a phone number to use the iCloud, the App Store and other Apple services. The pass, um, the Apple ID is for free. And you will need this Apple ID for all your Apple devices. So it's really cool to make this. If you does not have anyone, forgotten password, or don't have an account, push there and create an account or reset your passwords. And then enter here the phone number or email and after this a passcode and then we can continue this process. The next step is terms and conditions. Read them carefully and agree them. Now we sign in. That means our settings and so on will be trans um, ported and be um, looked what's going on with your Apple ID and something um, for data, uh, pictures, um, settings and so on. Maybe you have another iPhone or another iPad or something else by Apple um, and you have an existing Apple ID so there will get you a lot of information about that. That means what uh, what looks your uh, your home screen, um, what color you prefer, and so on. It's a process which get um, a little bit, and then we can make this to our new iPhone. We can customize now then. Update our iPhone automatically. We can do that, or we can only download it automatically. You can choose like 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 you prefer. Location services. Location services allows maps and other apps and services like Find My um, to gather and use data in the location, our location. That's, I think it's, it's good for turning on because if you does not the location, it's not, not a good deal. Now we set up mobile services if we like. We can transfer a phone number from a nearby iPhone or scan a QR code from our network provider. This is for the eSIM. The embedded SIM needs that, but this we prefer, um, this we perform in another video. So set up later this. Now we can set up Apple Pay. We add credit, debit, or store cards to Apple Pay to make secure payment in apps on the web and in shops using near field communication. This we set up later, of course. Screen time. We get a weekly report with insight about our screen time and set time limits to apps we want to manage. 
um, we can set up this later or we can continue because the screen time uh, service is a good service. And now iPhone analytics. We can help Apple improve its product and services by sharing diagnostic and usage data from the iPhone. If you like that, okay. We don't share, it's okay too. You choose. Now, let's make a um, decision. Light or dark display? Hmm. I prefer the dark display. Or do you choose the automatic display? You can choose what you like. Now there's an information about the silent mode. We can toggle silent mode on and off or check its status in control center. Swipe on the right um, upper side down to control center uh, and see what's going on. So the next thing is the new action button. We can see the action button on the left side um, over the volume up button. Okay, now we can customize this button. We can customize it with silent mode with focus, with camera, with torch, with the voice memo, with the recognized music, with translate and magnifier, and the shortcuts and accessibilities and nothing. So okay, what 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 we should sh we we choose the torch light. Okay, camera control. The camera control button is over there. This is the power button, this is the camera control button. With the camera control button, we can click on the controller to open the camera app. Then we click again to use the camera controller as a shutter. Really cool feature. Here we can see how it works. Okay. And now, emergency SOS information. The iPhone is ready to help in an emergency case. We press and hold. For emergency SOS, the volume up or volume down and power button for, I think, three up to five seconds. And then it will automatically make an emergency call. Really cool feature. And crash detection. If a rifle detects a serious car crash, it will automatically try to call emergency services. And in selected countries, the emergency SOS VR satellite will be enabled. When available, the iPhone can try to text emergency service via satellite if it can't connect to a mobile network. Wow, that's a really cool feature. And now that means welcome to the iPhone. Swipe it up and get started with your new iPhone 16. The basic uh, controls behind the iPhone is, of course, volume up, volume down. Here is the button, the action button. It's a torch in my case. The other button is over there. This is the um, the camera button. Let's push there, and you see you go and you go into the um, the camera app. Okay, here we are. And of course, to navigate, you can swipe over here. Okay, you can navigate. This is the home screen. The home screen contains a lot of apps. Apps are these icons. And if you go to the left side, you see here widgets. Widgets you can um, operate by push and hold and then make it smaller or bigger, push it and hold it, and you can um, navigate it to another area, for example, or of course you can delete them and remove them. You can edit new ones and so on. The same style here, you can choose a nav and then you can make a syntax option or you push, hold it, and remove the app. Delete the app, for example. Now it's deleted from that system. You can um, get it back in, from the App Store, of course. Or you push, and um, after you pushed, after you pushed, you can remove the app only from the home screen, okay? If you, you, you like to get it back, go to the right side. This is the library, and then here it is. There it is again, okay? So you can get it back to the home screen, add to home screen, for example. So the library here, and this is the home screen. If you go swipe down, this is the lock screen. And in the lock screen, you can get notifications. If you go on the right upper, uh, upper side and swipe down, this is um, the area for, for, for short settings, okay? That means here you can edit a lot of stuff. You can remove or add a controller in a control center. A lot of stuff is here available, of course. And you can go to, um, to, to the controller of the iTunes and your, um, your, your Wi-Fi settings and so on. 
if you open a lot of apps, you can go to go back to the um, mainstream, to the home screen by swipe up a little bit. If you open a lot of apps, then you can easy peasy go back and um, close them, but they are not already closed. They are still there, not still on the phone, still running in the background. Swipe in the center and then you can go and swipe uh, fast through them. You can remove them by swipe up, but now they're not deleted. They're only shut down. And it's a smartphone, so you can make a call with that app here. You can go to the internet with the Safari app. You can make messages and you can go to iTunes. New apps are available in the App Store and a lot of other stuff is available, as you can see. The camera app, for example, let's perform a little bit with the camera app, is easy. You can make photos, portraits, spatial, panorama, or shots, or videos, cinematics, slow motion and time lapse from both sides. Yeah, this is the Face ID cam. Slow motion, cinematics, video, photo, and um, special, and so on, available there too. These are only a little part of the big possibilities what you can do with that new iPhone 16 for you. A really cool device that is. Really cool color. Really good camera system, of course. This is an everyday device which you can use um, for nearly everything what's going on at the day at night time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Sun, sun.